Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. Uh, this one I'm going to be responding to a question someone was asking how to install and set up the new post processing stack for Unity 2018 onwards. Um, because if you're using the new render pipeline thing, so the, the lightweight render pipeline, or I'm going to presume the other ones too, um, you have to use the new post processing stack. And this, the thing I'm on about, is in the package manager uh, post processing. So for this video, all you need to install is post-processing and the lightweight render pipeline, because presumably you're going to be using this and you want to have effects. Because if you install off the asset store the old post-processing thing, it, it doesn't work anymore, um, unless you're just using standard render pipeline. Like, if you're not using this, it doesn't matter. But assuming people want to move on to the new stuff, then this is how you're going to have to do it. And it's slightly more complicated. Uh, if I remember correctly, on the old one, you just added, uh, like, the the brain thing to the camera and it, it worked um, but now you're gonna have to do it differently so there are a few different steps and the benefits to this is that you can have like a room and another room and as soon as you step into the other room it changes the post-processing I know you could do that but it was basically this has made that easier but the general use of it is a bit more complicated to set up but once you've done it it's fine so first of all on the camera that you're gonna be using you need to add a post well You've, you'll have installed the post-processing stuff in the package manager. So if you search post, you'll see the free uh, components, and we don't really need the debug one. So if we add a post-process layer to the camera, we get some things. So trigger, main camera, yes. Um, I don't know what of a trigger you'd use. I guess you you, can, uh, you could use like a character, for example. So you say if a character goes into a room, then that triggers the change. But if you're playing an FPS and the camera is on the player, then that does the same thing. It's just basically... How the new one works is you kind of set up areas for post-processing and if the camera is in that area or this transform, if this transform is in a certain area, it triggers that post-processing. So you can have different effects in different rooms. Um, in most cases, you want the trigger to be the camera because then obviously if the camera's in a different room, it changes. Um, and then layer. I don't know actually if by default this layer is here, post-processing. If it isn't, just create one. It doesn't have to be called post-processing, but it's better to. It just makes more sense. And also, if it is already here, just select it. So basically what this means is the um, post-processing behavior is going to be on that layer, and I'll show you that layer. And then you can you can do anti-aliasing, whatever. I'm just going to leave that for now. So that's all you need on the camera. Now, let's quickly just get something to actually have effects on. So we're going to have a cube. Uh, we'll just go 0, 0, 0. Mm, it looks a bit, the color looks a bit off. Uh, Anyway, um, oh, that's why I know why. So um, one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to um, need to create the lightweight render pipeline and actually set that up quickly. So we go uh, do, do, do. project settings, qual uh, graphics. I've clicked on the wrong one. Um, project settings, graphics. Put in the lightweight render pipeline. It's going to go pink. And then we basically just want to change the material on here, but I don't think it'll let us. Let's just uh, remake the cube. It might put the new material on it. Yeah, good. Okay. So I put that at like zero, one, zero. I'll make another cube and call it floor and put that at zero, zero, zero. And then I can just scale that a bit. And I'll give the floor a different material just so we can see the color difference. Um, then on the floor we'll give it a, why not, that'll do. And I'll quickly just shove the camera forwards a bit. I'm gonna see everything, okay, there we go. Now we need to make an empty object in the scene. That's the best way to do it. And we'll just call it a post uh, processing. And this object can be anywhere in the scene. Now, if you're doing a room specific, most of the time you won't be, but if, if you're doing a room specific um, post processing thing, you, well, you want to place this at the room and I'll show you. You put a collider for how you want it to like trigger. So let's say you had a room with the invisible collider and a player steps into that collider, you can trigger the um, effect of the post processing. We're not going to do that. We're just going to have like a global one. So if we go in there and put post processing volume, onto this empty game object. 
And then, first of all, make sure this uh, object that you've got to do the post-processing, make sure the layer is post-processing so the camera knows that this is what we're on about. And then you get a few different things here. We see uh, is global. We're going to check that so that you don't need to put a collider on. Everywhere is the effect as such. Um, weight. I'm not actually 100% sure what weight does, but I'm going to assume it... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Just the effect it has on the scene. Um, priority over the other post-processing things, so you can change priorities. And then uh, profile, which is actually what we change to put effects in the scene. So create a new one, and it assigns it, and it gives us it down here. Now, this is where it's just back to like how it used to be. You've got your different effects. It looks a bit different. You have to add one at a time if you want to use it. So let's say I want to change a uh, color, color grading. Boom. Let's check, uh, check the all button so it lets you edit everything. And then here we go. Red scene, blue scene, all the colors scene. Uh, change it to like ACS. So basically, this is how it used to be. Um, maybe there's a few more options in certain places. I don't know. Um, then let's like give this floor material some uh, emission. Oh, oh, there it is. Let's give it some like pink emission. Huh, I'm just messing around, sorry. Um, that didn't actually do anything, did it? There we go, it's got some like pink emission. And then we can uh, go to the post processing. And let's add some more effects. We'll go to bloom, turn on bloom, increase the intensity. Oh, then our emission material, emissive material looks all like that. <laughs> I don't know why I'd want that. Um, woo. Uh, <laughs> what else should we add? But you get what I mean. I mean, maybe this was enough to explain it to you. I mean, obviously, you, there's not much more you need to know now. Um, It's all about messing around with sliders and just adding random effects till you get what you want. Um, but yeah, so here it is. Here's the scene. I've applied some really random effects to it. Uh, but yeah, this is how you set it up. So now the camera basically looks for the post-processing layer. This is on the post-processing layer. We've got the volume here. Oh, that's cool. Um, I actually do quite like this effect. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but anyway, yeah. So if you need any more questions about setting it up or you've got any problems, just make sure to ask in the comments. Uh, obviously, this video is quite short, just showing you how to set this thing up. Um, as usual, like obviously subscribe if you want more videos, more tutorials. Always ask, ask, ask if you want me to make something because I need to know what people want to see. Uh, we have a Discord channel uh, in the description and you can go and ask questions there. It's a lot easier to discuss things there. You can talk with the other people in here who have joined um, to talk about games and coding and nerdy stuff. Um, I think that's everything I need to say. Um, I'll be making a Python video later today and then uh, if I get any more Unity ideas, I'll make more Unity tutorials. Um, but as it stands, I think that's everything. So if you enjoyed the video, uh, like it, please. Do all the, all the normal stuff that I'm not going to bother saying now. So thanks for watching and goodbye.